so good evening students uh, dear students in this lecture i am going to explain a multi quadrant operation of a motor driving an hoist load so this uh, topic is required and it is useful for final year engineering students and final year diploma students of electrical and electronics branch let we can start this topic how the question they can set in university exam with help of the quadrant diagram explain four quadrant operation of a motor driving an hoist load see hoist load is nothing but a lift uh, moving a man or material from bottom to top and from top to bottom so before uh, going to understand this uh, topic so we need to know some basics so our uh, topic is motor see this motor is going to uh, operate this hoist load so it is the hoist load is taking from bottom to top and from top to bottom that is done by the motor see we know that the motor will operate in two modes one is motoring mode and another one is braking mode motoring mode is nothing but it converts electrical to mechanical means motoring mode supports the motion and braking mode converts mechanical to electrical means braking mode opposes the motion so this two modes is very important to understand the hoist load okay so uh, that is what i written here motoring mode support the motion and braking mode opposes the motion similarly to understand this entire operation of uh, hoist load we have taken a standard practical assumptions okay based on that assumptions and all uh, the hoist load will operate in the same manner practically also it is same let what are those assumptions see we have a parameters uh, to discuss in the entire uh, lecture that is uh, speed okay speed is parameter motor torque uh, t and load torque tl so this three parameters may be clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction so the torque may be clockwise or anti clockwise and load torque may be clockwise or anti clockwise see this direction will going to depends whether this torque is supporting the motion or opposing the motion so based on that the direction changes however if it is clockwise direction if it is clockwise direction any of this any of this if it is in clockwise direction our sign convention you should take it as negative okay take the sign convention negative okay if any of this parameters or in anti clockwise direction if it is in anti clockwise direction then our sign convention will be positive let's say an example not everything will be clockwise not everything will be anti clockwise some will be clockwise some will be anti clockwise if speed is anti clockwise let example the speed is anti clockwise and torque is clockwise what you should take sign convention positive or negative positive because anti clockwise anti clockwise you respect any parameter anti clockwise means take positive and clockwise means take negative so see torque is clockwise direction so take negative understood guys so this assumption we are making this is the first assumption second assumption is the load torque the load torque and motor torque motor torque and load torque always opposite to each other so opposes each other this is a second assumption practical it is also practical opposes each other opposes each other this is a second assumption next next assumption is weight okay we have two weights one is counter weight and cage weight okay cage weight the cage may be empty cage or loaded cage so before moving to this i will explain this uh, diagram see so this is called a wheel or a brake drum this brake drum is coupled to the motor shaft and we are placing a rope rope a thick size of a uh, uh, thread that is called a rope so that rope is placed on the brake drum wheel okay and the rope is having two end one end of the rope is having counter weight and other end of the rope is tied with a cage 
and this cage is going to carry a man or material from one level to another level let's say bottom to top and the same cage will come from top to bottom this is the uh, process of a hoist load okay so now assumption in this that uh, weight is see the counter weight see this one end of the cage is one end of the rope is having cage it may be a loaded or not loaded okay two possible cases are there so the counter weight the counter weight i write uh, cw not uh, clockwise direction cw means counter weight this is assumption the counter weight is more than empty cage the counter weight is more than empty cage ec empty cage and the counter weight is lesser than loaded cage the counter weight is lesser than loaded cage so the weight of this one is more than empty cage and the weight of this one is lesser than loaded cage this is the assumption so it is practically also so with all this assumptions let we can start the entire operation which quadrant will be motoring mode which quadrant will be a braking mode okay two modes we have motoring mode and braking mode and coming to directions forward direction and reverse direction we have considered forward direction is rope if the cage is moving from bottom to top that is forward direction and if the cage is moving from top to bottom that is called reverse direction that is what we have considered okay look at here now let's start with first quadrant see here i written a table whatever i explained you just write this table that understood the examiner understood the student know this concept this operation in detail okay just write this table don't write any sentenceful words torque positive speed negative don't write anything just write this table see this table what i written here if it is not visible i will read it operation of hoist will operate in four quadrants 1 2 3 4 q means quadrants and here i written parameters what are the parameters load torque tl motor torque angular speed sorry speed then power this power is mechanical power then finally result what is the result in first quadrant motoring mode or braking mode that we need to don't buy at it and write okay so just look at here see guys now see the motion in the first quadrant motion is upward means this loaded cage is has to move from bottom to top bottom to top means from bottom to top so this will be the direction of speed so the speed direction should be assist the motion assist the motion see this is a loaded cage and this is counter weight what is my assumption counter weight is lesser than loaded cage so this is heavily loaded so i need to move this load from bottom to top so therefore motor torque is required motor torque should support this motion so therefore i am writing the motor torque direction okay it same as speed direction so what is another assumption load torque and motor torque are opposite to each other so therefore i am writing the load torque tl load torque tl in opposite to motor torque now look at uh, this uh, directions and apply the sign convention see the torque see load torque tl so first quant right what is tl what is tl clockwise direction clockwise means clockwise means what what i should write negative so next to torque is anti clockwise torque positive and speed is anti clockwise right positive what about power mechanical power so power is equal to product of torque and omega so that gives mechanical power now plus into plus is plus so whenever power is positive that is called motoring mode m m means motoring mode okay so but i should write whether it is forward motoring or reverse motoring see in our case the forward motoring means if the cage is moving from bottom to top that is called forward motion okay so that is called forward motoring 
okay if you feel if you going from bottom to top you will feel uh, positive if you coming from top to bottom that reaction will be different okay see now so in the first quadrant in first quadrant an hoist load driving by motor operating in forward motoring it is operating in forward motoring mode next similarly in the second quadrant in the second quadrant see the empty cage now now it is loaded cage i shifted from bottom to top now the empty cage is also moving from bottom to top so this is the direction of the motion you see the motion direction and then write the speed okay so this will be the speed look at here counter weight is lesser than empty cage weight whatever the weight we have in the empty cage this weight is lesser than counter weight that is assumption okay practically like that also see now in order to shift this empty cage from bottom to top i don't require motor torque because this weight is larger than this one okay so if slowly it will come down this will go up okay therefore motor torque does not support this motion so therefore therefore motor torque is not required in this mode so this will be motor torque but in order to support this motion we require something that is called load torque see now load torque is assist the motor's motion okay this is called tl so the load torque as i said motor torque and load torque both will be opposite to each other so now load torque and sorry load torque assisting the direction of the speed so under this condition with the help of the load torque this cage will go to from bottom to top motor torque not required so means motor torque opposes the motion what is called that braking okay now look at here see the direction torque anti clockwise positive torque is anti clockwise positive and torque load torque anti clockwise positive motor torque clockwise negative speed anti clockwise positive now what is power negative into positive multiply torque and omega negative into positive is negative when our power is negative that is nothing but braking mode but what is the operation cage is moving from bottom to top that is forward okay so in the second quadrant right, the motor driving the hoist load so it is operating as a braking mode but that is forward braking that is forward braking means cage is moving from bottom to top next in the third point right now the same empty cage empty cage want to reach from top to bottom top to bottom see now the motor should support this motion so the motor should run with speed direction motion direction so the motor speed will be assisting the motion direction of motion see now this is counter weight this is empty cage counter weight is more than empty cage okay so this empty cage will not come easily from top to bottom because in other side this weight counter weight is larger than empty cage so in order to pull this cage from top to bottom i require torque i require motor torque so with the help of the motor torque okay so the cage will come top to bottom then what about load torque load torque will be opposite of motor torque so now by seeing this conventions uh, directions you write the sign convention motor torque anti clockwise positive okay sorry load torque anti clockwise positive and torque clockwise negative speed also clockwise negative negative to negative positive when our power is positive motoring mode remember when our power is positive it is motoring mode see now the motion is from top to bottom so we call that is reverse motoring so in the fourth in third one right the drive operates as a reverse motoring similarly last case so in the last case see now the loaded cage it is a loaded cage want to move from top to bottom reverse direction top to bottom counter weight this loaded cage weight is larger than counter weight so it can easily come back 
it will easily come from top to down, top to bottom, easily it can come. Because I don't require motor torque. But motor should support the direction of motion, the motor speed, that is omega m. m omega m in supports to the motion. Okay. So load it cage. This is having this weight is more than this weight. Obviously, it will come down. Therefore, why I, why, why, why I need to use motor torque? So motor torque is not supporting the speed direction. Okay, not supporting the motion. Then to support this motion, load torque will take care. Okay, load torque. The load torque and motor torque are always opposite to each other. Now see the sign convention. Load torque clockwise negative. Load torque clockwise negative. And motor torque anti-clockwise positive. And speed, speed C, speed is clockwise, speed is clockwise, so right, negative, positive into negative, negative, so whenever power is negative, braking mode, so whenever power is negative, you should write braking mode, reverse or forward, because the cage is coming from top to bottom, so take reverse, so then it becomes reverse braking, so in the fourth point, right, the drive is operating in reverse braking, the drive is operating in reverse braking. Okay, got it, guys. So so simple. In this the, in this side, okay, braking mode, and this side motoring mode. Okay, odd numbers, first and third quadrant motoring. Even numbers two and four braking. Which is first one? One is first. One and three. In that one is first forward motoring. Other one is reverse motoring. Two and four. Which is first? Two is braking. Forward braking, other one is reverse braking. Okay, so got it. So still, if you have any doubt, means torque and omega. How I written sign convention means? See, look at here. So I will erase this one second, so that you can easily understand. One second. See now, look at here. See in the first point, right? See that torque is positive. Okay, torque is positive. Speed also positive. That's why I written torque positive, speed positive over. Next, second quadrant, torque is negative, speed is positive, so negative, positive, third quadrant, torque negative, speed negative, minus, minus, fourth quadrant, torque is positive, torque is positive, speed is negative, so, so I term plus and minus, so multiplication of that gives uh, power, if power is positive, right motoring, if power is negative, right braking mode, that's it, see guys, and what I written here, TL1 and TL2, this is called, TL1 is load torque when cage is loaded. TL2 is load torque when cage is empty. Okay, got it? So it does not have this vertical line significance. If you want, you can write that vertical lines. Okay, no concept in this. So this TL1 is load torque when cage is loaded. TL2, load torque when cage is empty. Okay, that's it. So guys, I hope you understood uh, what I want, whatever I explained till now. So guys, uh, please watch this video without forwarding so that you can understand in a better way. Any doubts you can post in the comment box. So I will explain to them. So any other topics you are studying in industrial drives, if you need a video lecture on that means you can inform me. So I will try my best to do video lecture on your requested topic. And this topic is done based on the student's request. So based on that, our uh, subscribers so requested that, so I have done it. But it is useful for 8SM uh, E students and 6SM diploma students if they have industrial drive subject. Okay guys, share my lectures, video lectures and give like and tell all your friends to subscribe my channel. So keep supporting like this, so I will, do, I will be doing videos in a regular basis. Okay. So have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.